How's the mall treating you?
Moms will love how our Coolinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Or, don't be. Step into our Entertainer Tron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Montec innovation.
cleaning sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those darn messy kids. Never sweep again. Moms will love our
doors open. Quit buzzing me, will you? Let's see the super mutant. Hello again. You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. Let's try and take this place now. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Sorry. Sentinel Lions calls the shots around here. If you need anything, she can probably help you. Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He's a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. You never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Ever since GNR started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Problem? Carry on then. Nice to see you. Welcome to a quick fix. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Decided to check out the sh Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. Need to do some killing, eh? If you need... girl a drink sailor? Now that's what I like in a man. Enough caps to buy a lady a drink. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. Yes? I heard that the city council is debating. Charmed to meet you. 
I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. That poor girl. Diego told her to never bother him again. She was devastated. Poor James. His mother drinks too much. When she does, she doesn't treat him very well. Personally, I think she blames him for his father leaving her, which is ridiculous. Farewell. Putting railings on the flight deck. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton, here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him, but if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. Good. Nice to see you again. Only a hundred... Okay, then. Farewell. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Seriously. Hey there. Getting me away from the city. Me too. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. One of the new people died of radiation poisoning. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. I'll be right with you. Hey. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Hey. That's secure for a reason. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Chief Danvers, head of Rivet City Security. He's gone. I'm in charge now. Did you want something, or were you just wasting my time? He's trouble. That's what he is. I don't trust him, and neither should you. His mother's a drunk. Spends all her time in the muddy rudder. Duty calls. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, this slag heap is guarding the armory, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory, sir. 
Please don't make me shoot you, sir! on duty. Make it quick. Later. You don't look so tough. They call me sister. Don't ask. Are you making fun of my name? It's a damn good thing for you this place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. Take a look at... It's noisy, but we're safe here. Farewell. You're ugly and a bitch, too. Why are you so mean sometimes? I'm I'm not supposed to. What's your problem, mister? It's a boat. A really big boat. What did you say about my mother? You... You take that back! Go jump off the flight deck, asshole. Let's talk to strangers. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. That coward. He told her to stay away from him. She still cries about it at night. 
It's a good thing I would never hurt a priest. Bye. This place won't... Look, I'm busy. Whoa. Later, dude. This... I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. I'd rather be alone just now. Yeah. She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Later. What do you want? I'm Janice Kaplinski. I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. So long. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with her parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Yes, your mother was... well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. As I said, I am sorry. I'm afraid I can't go back and change the past. Okay. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. What? Well, 
I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. You happened. It wasn't just you, we had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. Good luck finding your father. Nothing is I'd getting through be these alone just now. Yes? I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Hey. Don't mind me. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. It's a bug. Bye! Quit. I can't wait to get... Hey. Hey there! Henry's my husband. I have a daughter, CJ, too. You'll see her running around here with... That poor child. His mother, Tammy Hargrave, is a very troubled woman. She spends too much time down in the muddy rudder, drinking and using foul language. I feel so sorry for him. I think CJ is a good influence on him, but I do worry about the two of them. We're the lucky ones. We don't have to fight just to survive. We have normal jobs. I clean the hall. Goodbye. Hey there. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, really? My husband ran off and got himself killed, and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah. I'd sell it. Unless you've got... Yeah? What do you... The muddy... What the hell do you want? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Hey, stranger. Wanna buy a girl a drink? Think of breaking into that.
God bless you and keep you safe. Father, God. Hello. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. God bless you. May Saint Monica bless you. You will. We humbly. Every cat. Saint Monica. Secure for a reason. Hey. Evening. Hey. Saint Monica bless you. Sir. Welcome to the Weatherly. I serve Miss Vin. This is. Please, patient. Yes, sir. Vera, hey there. it was a feast. God bless you. Hey. Did you hear about the fight in the muddy runner last night? Yeah. This is a medical clinic. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a sh Now, if you... I don't see... You can get that crap down at a quick fix. It's in the market. The Weatherly Hood. Sure can. Sure. The Weatherly. Take care. Morning. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Yes. Morning.